Okay, I'm going to get started on this tahini dip that's going to go with our falafel. And we have decided we don't really care for any um, plant-based yogurts. They just, they don't do it. And we used to love to have plain yogurt on our um, falafels. So I've been kind of looking around to see if there was some alternative. And I did find actually several online that called tahini dip. We've never tried them. And so this is kind of, we're kind of going out here and trying something new tonight. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to bring you down. I'm, I'm manning the camera myself today. So I'm going to bring the camera down and we'll get started. All right. Um, in my work bowl here, I have some, and I've made a half batch, so I don't have a bunch that doesn't taste good. This is uh, tahini. It's un, unsalted. And to that, I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic, minced garlic. This is my favorite in the world garlic press there. I'm going to get that in. that and I'm going to add some lemon juice and a little bit of salt and then I'm going to get this blending and then I, I'm to add some warm water to kind of break it up now I'm using a uh, this little food processor in my opinion is just worthless but my food processor is dead so a new one is coming but this is what I have to use so we're gonna hope for the best here so it's going to make a lot of noise. So I'm going to put you on hold and bring you right back as soon as um, as soon as I know if we're going to make any business here. Hang on. Okay, I'm back and I have been doing that. I'm going to open my lid now. The instructions said that it would get thick. It would start to seize up, and that's where the warm water comes in. So I'm going to add some of this warm water to try to thin this out. Let's see if that. We'll do it. I'll just leave the camera running here and hopefully you won't hate the noise. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, let me tip that up there. We're getting there. I think that looks pretty good. I do need to want it. I do want it thinner. So I'm going to give it a little bit more water and we'll see how that is. see okay that's looking very interesting and it's a nice pouring consistency I'm gonna get a little spoon here I'm gonna try it see how we're doing with taste oh wow that is delicious that is delicious I'll tell you I'm gonna give that an hour or so in the refrigerator or actually I think I'm gonna leave it on the countertop so it doesn't get too thick that is delicious. I'm trying to think if there's anything I would change or add. I don't think so. Um, it's lemony, but not too over lemony. I don't want it over lemony. I don't know. I may add just a little bit more lemon juice. Just a little bit, though. But this is delicious, and I can see how this is going to taste with falafel in that pocket bread. And I'm going to chop up some lettuce real fine and kind of shred it and put it in there, and we'll top it with this. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to put the whole whole thing together and see how it is. So we've made tahini dip. I'm very pleased with it. I will leave the recipe, and uh, I'm glad I made a half batch because that's more than plenty. But I did see them talking of these articles that I read about it. People using it to dip their pour over cauliflower or any kind of hot vegetable or dipping cold vegetables in it instead of like a ranch drip dip or something. I could see that. I could see it on the hot vegetables, especially. Very tasty. Okay, folks, we're out here for now. When uh, we get back, we're going to put it all together, and we're going to have some dinner.